said V and last night was awesome. Thanks for the haterade support. I mean, support is always great, you know, I'm really grateful. Thanks for supporting our studio, local labs. You can, hell yeah, we be dropping beats, fool. You can, you can y'all don't need me. Y'all you some bitch ass niggas. You can, I did all the work. Y'all motherfuckers didn't even know me. You can, I did everything. Y'all motherfuckers just hating me. You can, you can, that's my beat though. You can, that's my beat though. You, can, you ain't got the bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. You ain't got the bang, 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 bang. <laughs> wow. Thanks for the support, G. That's just crazy. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. But anyways, so yeah, so it's your boy Sid V sitting here chilling, right here, um, drinking my coffee, and um, yeah, I was thinking about that, bro. You know, I gotta get a cooler. I, I I walked into the store and everything in the store turned off except for a beer fridge, and I was like, wow, I think I need a beer fridge, and then I was like. Okay, I'm cheating. Okay, that's not that's not the way. Okay, if they know you, they're gonna be at your they're gonna be at your spot drinking for free because you don't like people being on drugs. You can hell yeah, bro. Whatever whatever gets it done, G. You know. <laughs> you can. I might, have to, I might have to have like a little room in the back for so like so when I so when I deal with acts that are kicking, bro, they can kick in kick in a soundproof room. You know what I mean? Okay, it's crazy. Dude, we gonna get this shit done, bro. We gonna get this album done, bro. We gonna we gonna get this album done. You, can, you just gonna have to go to sleep. We gonna have to drink six, drink a couple of these right here. <laughs> it's just beer. Don't worry. You, can, you gonna have to be known after this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can, that's that's how I'm gonna that's how I'm gonna handle these fools. When when they get out of hand, I'm like, yo, you gonna have to either drink a beer, you gonna have to sleep that shit off, and do something. But we gotta get this album done. You can take your time though. You know, take your take your time though. You know. So yeah. So thanks for the support. You can, that sounds cool. You, can, you know what's weird? I was just thinking about the ability of like me and like my my friends or whatever having the ability to uh to remake shit and make original like copies of music bro like without having to like rip it or nothing like that to just be in the studio and be like yo let's remix this shit like get a new voice and just that that ability was amazing and then the thought of the ability of a duplicator that was ridiculously beyond amazing and then i was thinking about the ability of just like sitting there doing a web show out of, <laughs> out of the warehouse like damn and i just thought about how awesome that shit was <laughs> oh, wow yeah i was just thinking about that like like making demos bro imagine bro like sometimes you just gotta pop one out bro you know you, get, you don't got a duplicator. Damn, that shit takes forever, dog. You got to burn one at a time and shit. That shit was crazy. But then at the same time, you know, doing remixes and doing stuff like that, I got to get a laid, bro. Seriously, I'll be pressing, oh, cutting wax every day. <laughs> I'll be the 45 champion over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I would be like, dude. So, so we gotta, we gotta duplicate a shitload of CDs, of, of breaks, of, a bunch of DJ breaks, and then we gotta press the hot shit on 45. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta lay the hot shit on a 45, and then we're gonna be cool in the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's cool, cause I mean, damn, it should be really cool. So, but that's just personal, you know, personal stuff, you know, not not like mass stuff, cause I, uh, maybe later, but you know, just just to have the ability to do it. So 45s and CD duplicators, wow. But you know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not doing nothing illegal. I'm just like, you know, it's just when you when when you have the equipment, it's different when uh, you can go and like remix it like completely from the ground up, you know? And it just, it just, just that thought was crazy. But yeah, man, you know what it is, you know? Keeping it clean productions presents beat goes we're like kinkos for musicians you can record <laughs> you can master you can print you know limited quantities of your demo and um, if you got the wax bro shit <laughs> we can cut that shit well that's where i hope to be right there with that so that's what's going on so thanks for the support you can oh that's just beast dude it's like it's like jonathan day i think that's his name bro <laughs> that's just crazy i think i got hit by the menthol lady that shit's cool man it's because it was like mix bro it was like a mix okay it was like a cancer scare and then it stopped the heart and shit i was like oh fuck i'm so hurt but i can't breathe it was crazy so uh yeah i did a shit hurt <laughs> but then i was like oh it's, a, it's that lady from the from the menthol that's pretty cool but you know what else is cool? Airman shoes, bro. Airman shoes. They're not Nikes. 
but they're just as good. <laughs> Imagine Air Man shoes. Wow. But yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Ooh, that colorway was tight. But anyway, so it's your boy said to be talking shit into a can, into a bottle, into a box, into a hole cut, into a wall. <laughs> I guess, bro. It's getting crazy. So it's gonna be fun, bro. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have open houses at the studio to show you guys the stuff, you know. We better have insurance or not insurance or I don't know, bro. Fuck. Whatever, faith, bro. You know, piece by piece. <laughs> All I know, I was sitting in my living room, and then like a, like a, like a, a broadcasting desk showed up, <laughs> and then it just the racks just filled, <laughs> and like the mics just showed up, and the headphones, and like the laptop, and everything, and the computer, and I was like, damn, wow! So it just materialized in front of me, like not materialized, but visually showed us. I was like, damn, it's gonna be pretty tight. So yeah, it's gonna be really cool. So thanks to everybody on the jungle too. It's gonna be really fun. It's just I gotta I gotta be known, bro, because then it'd be good to be cool. It's crazy. I just stick stay in my lane, bro. You know, it, uh, another reason why I don't do drugs is because if you don't do drugs, you don't have problems with the soldier dudes. <laughs> if you don't smoke weed, and if you don't smoke crack, then you're not babbling on, bro, and then you're not fighting a lost cause. It, that's what Babylon is, right? That's why you don't you don't do the jam rock. Or <laughs> that's why I don't smoke weed. But anyway, so. It's because they don't take it seriously, bro. Like, then they say, is it the music or the weed? You, can, you know, uh, get to Justin, so, you know, fuck. Today, I had to say that uh, a tool needed in the world of music is breaking the barrier between being a self-supporting artist and an artist. Because you can have a day job or you can have a trade to support your music and then it might take off, you know, because there's different types of artists and, you know, it's kind of hard to break that stereotype that just because you DJ, you have to just be a fucking DJ and that's the only fucking thing you can do and then you can't eat and you got to starve and shit like that. You get wow, bro. Seriously. Once you get musicianship, then you can work a regular job and do your DJ shit when you want to. You know, it's just a different experience, you know. It's a lot more relaxed when, when you can sit there all fucking day and fuck up on the track like 12 times and shit. Like, <laughs> that little kid is crazy. He puts little farts in the music. But, yeah, so, yeah, as your voice is me, so just thank you for the support, bro. For here. That shit was cool. You get big ups to all you knowns out there. You guys are awesome. You know what I mean? You get, I guess the hardest part in life after doing drugs is being known <laughs> just just being known that's just really difficult bro <laughs> you know it's not even drugs it's just being known it's just really hard so man get past that and then i guess you could do anything you know because it's just that being known is crazy bro some people can't handle that you can't handle that being known bro that's just really <laughs> really hard but yeah so yeah that's what's going on so thanks for taking the time to watch this and I'm looking forward to making really good music at Apes, local Apes studio, it's going down, we don't got nothing bro, nothing bro right now, but there's like a lot of lit up in the air, showing a lot of cool stuff, okay, that's how we're going to do it piece by piece, Whew, okay, I don't play any instruments so you know, musicians are going to be needed. And I do understand musicianship, and I know you gotta, you gotta be a bomb. You know, I, I understand music, bro. So it's like, there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. We just gotta keep the doors open. <laughs> it's gonna be really cool. So yeah.